translating your latest novel mother of milk and honey and i was reading the dedication and i was it's a very striking dedication in, in which you say um to my mother who not knowing how to read taught me how to write and i was wondering whether you could kind of tell us about that what uh... <laughs> yeah uh, that's because you know i i grew up in a family with the, this this language which is amazigh yes uh, uh, so this language is a, is an oral language, it's not written. Uh, so I never read any books in my mother tongue. But uh, I grew up with um, a lot of uh, women uh, around me telling stories, uh, doing kind of a oral literature. I think that was a very important experience for me. I didn't know then uh, that it would uh, help me to become a, a writer many right. years uh, later. But the fact is that experience was very, very important for uh, coming to Catalonia in this uh, very rural um, area in the north of Morocco, uh, in the Rif and in the countryside. You know, there's, there are so many things to do that are very boring. Yes. Um, so what women used to do is tell stories. They were uh, washing uh, clothes uh, in the river yeah. or... Um, works in, in, in the countryside are very hard. Yeah, we just uh, tell stories to to make them... To make the time go by. Yeah. I normally, uh, you know, say, well, women in my family used to, 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 to tell stories, but my mother uh, is a very good storyteller. That was very important for me because she had a special sensitivity when, when she used to to tell stories, she used to uh, a lot of small details uh, about daily life, about things that maybe other women in the family, uh, you know, don't care about. So I remember when I was a little, I just remember myself listening to my mother talking. The conditions were very hard. And my mother was alone with us because my father came to, to live to Catalonia before we were born. So yes. she was alone. She she had to deal with a lot of these hard conditions. And um, when she was telling stories, I just felt that uh, nothing bad could, could happen. I, I, I don't know. Uh, yes. The, sort of the magic just, of literature taking you out of your immediate reality. Uh, yeah. The, there were different, different types of, of stories around us. I mean, um, during the day, the women used to, to, to talk about uh, things that happened in the family or things that happened to somebody else in the village or uh, realistic. But at night, yeah. at night, it was different because um, there was a, a super, superstition, yeah, that... Um, they couldn't tell fairy tales or yes, fairy tales tale. for yes. children during the day. Because if you tell fairy tales during, during the day, you're going to have um, uh, bald children. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Okay? <laughs> but uh, at night, um, what um, we, we used to, to, to sleep with my mother in the same room, one next to to the other in, on yes. the floor uh, and and then she after after um, turning the lights uh, off uh, she started to tell those stories that were um, I don't know if they were they were for children because they were very <laughs> scary sometimes yes. but uh, those were, were stories that uh, my my mother uh, learned from her uh, grandmother, uh, yeah. which uh, which uh, all all my um, aunts used to say that she was a very uh, good storyteller, and she they, they used to say she she could uh, keep them she could keep them uh which means she could memorize a lot of yes. those stories and yeah. um and i mean during a lot of of, of of years i i couldn't see that those stories were different from 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 other stories told in in the arab world right because uh sometimes when when i um try to explain about this 
all people think about the um, uh, one hundred and and one nine, and those stories are different. There are specific uh, stories that that are just um, from this this area of the north of Morocco or from uh, Berber uh, origin. Um, so Amazigh is a Berber language. Yeah, Amazigh and Berber is the same. The uh, same. So you, your your mother tongue is is, is Amazigh. One of the things that struck me strikes me about this this I mean you've written like three novels about the experience of migration. You know your first novel, The Last Patriot, which was published in in Catalan in 2000, 2008, kind of focuses on the father. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. the second novel is the foreign daughter that this novel focuses on the mother and each novel has a very different tone the first novel is quite kind of caustic and kind of a bit of bitterness in the novel i think um but the the last novel um it seems to me that it's very tender the 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 relationship with the the mother and and she's telling stories isn't she Uh, and she's telling these stories Obviously, the novel is written in Catalan, so you have the conversation between the mother, who kind of left home, went to Catalonia with her with with her with her child, um, and then she comes back and she kind of tells her stories to the, to her sisters in a very moving way. I mean, to, for me, um, the, the kind of experience of migration, you it, it, it comes, it's very um, you know, for, for instance, when she's talking about crossing over the waters on the on the ferry boat and then or she's clinging on to this em- she has this envelope with an address on the back of it and, and she doesn't she's a, an illiterate woman um, yeah. she doesn't she, she doesn't she's never traveled abroad before and yet she kind of she she gets to where she wants to go um, obviously these novels are fictions they're not autobi- yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're fictions that are, that are kind of informed by your experience. And I was wondering with this with, with the kind of last novel, I mean how much you, you actually kind of spoke to your mother? Did you speak to your mother when you were writing the novel? Um, or, or, or is it kind of um, prompted by memories which you then developed through into a fiction? Um, what I did with the last novel is, is I tried to um, uh, show the uh, reality that uh, all, uh, I mean, women like my mother uh, have to to face. Uh, I mean, not only as uh, as immigrants when they they have to do this this journey, which is a uh, very difficult. I mean. I think when I when I uh, um, uh, wrote the last part, I, I I couldn't understand the, uh, the 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 mother. I mean, I was more um, I don't know upset about the the, the patriarchy and, and the father yeah. and and the way he he acts and and everything. But I I, I couldn't see in in that moment the that um, the fe- Mother was was a, a very important uh, character, and she could have uh, her own story. I mean, right. not be in next to the uh, the patriarch, and, and and that's all. No, that it's not the same character. I mean, the mother, different families. The mother in 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 mother of milk and honey is is another mother, but I try to. Um, reflect this this complexity they have to face because they are I mean um, I think they are very vulnerable um, yeah. and and but at the same time they they're very strong because they they keep going I mean there's this expression I don't know how you're gonna translate it this expression that I translated literally from the uh, from the Amazigh which is Standing on 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 your own own feet. Standing on your own feet, yes. Yeah. Well, the, the, Which you can say a, in English to, to oh, really? stand on your own feet, yes. To, oh, really, because this yeah. is a very uh, typical expression in Namazik. Right. Okay. I mean, yes. we don't have it in Catalan. We don't say this, but um, I 
I, I translated literally to, to, to let the, the reader see the way, you know, this, this, uh, Fat, this Fatima um, uh, speaks the, the, yeah. the language because um, uh, this, this last novel, I, I, it took me more time than other novels because I really tried to have the readers listening to a woman like my mother, listening to the, the, the way she tells stories, the way she expresses herself. I mean, um, that was a that wasn't easy to 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 do because it's it's from Mamazik to Catalan, but um, yes. it was a very interesting way for me because it, I don't know how to show this. I mean, the language. I don't know exactly how to 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 have it in 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 the in the books. I mean, in the foreign daughter, it's a, the it's a it's a the main character that uh, is thinking about the language. I mean, she's uh, she's trying to understand the differences between uh, Amazigh and Catalan, and and she she she's telling us about that. But um, in in Mother of Milk and Honey, I tried uh, to uh, integrate this to the text. I mean to. Yes. to because one of my, um, I mean, one of the things that I, I always try to do while I'm writing is just to put all these realities in the same place. Right. Uh, because one of the things that you the experience when, when you come from a place and then you move to another and uh, you leave different realities is that you always feel like made of pieces Yes. <laughs> I don't know how fragments. to say. It. Yes. Yeah, fragments. So, uh, I feel that writing is a way to put all these fragments together and have all the those different words in a in a in one word, which is what I am. I mean, it's I am a person, and all these pieces are in me. And uh, I think there are a lot of people in the world that feel the same. That feel they made with different pieces and and they just facing the fact that um, uh, a lot of times people they don't recognize all your pieces i mean they just see one of your sites and right yeah, for yeah. Me, that's very difficult so writing is a way to to just have um, a more i don't know how harmony i'm very struck by the physicality of your writing in the sense that the you know the, the 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 way the mother kind of feels the inside of rooms. You know, kind yeah. of when she goes into the, or the, you know the, the kind of that house that's occupied by men and it's full of kind of dirt. She's very uh, kind of alert to 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 small details. Um, and I have this kind of tradition in in, in Amazigh, but also you have. A, you know, you're you're within a Catalan literary tr tradition, and you know when I when I when I read you, I'm 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 kind of reminded of um, Mercedes Rudareda, because mm -hmm. she has that kind of close connection with physical with physical reality, as in La Plata, the in Diamond Square, mm -hmm. um, but your reality is you know kind of totally different. You know, there's a presence of certain Catalan writers within your within within your writing. I don't know if yeah. that. If that's true or not, but uh, or what do you think? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, I mean, you know, I always said that I feel very um, close to Rodoreda because way of of uh, telling the the stories. I mean, this focusing on the details or um, or writing about the the spaces inside the houses, which is something that maybe uh, other writers, male writers never do and uh, this um when i when i started reading Rudoreda, it was it was a very important experience because I, I i i i grew up in a in a society where uh, there was this uh, segregation between men and women because because uh, we had to stay at home and well um if, if there was a strange man at, uh, in the house, we had to hide. Yes. <laughs> uh, and all these these things, and 
So I used to to be um, to spend a lot of time inside the house. Of yeah. course, my mother more than me because um, I wrote an article uh, uh, recently on on the, um, on El País. I told that that my mother used to to go out once a week. Yes, that's which, right. Yeah. Which is which is the the. The experience we're having all of us now, but uh, my mother lived like that all her life because uh, she was a woman and she wasn't supposed to go out if she hadn't anything to do outside the house. So um, she used to go out because she had uh, a visit with the doctor or or, or she had to, to buy something or but not and most of the things um it was us who used to do it so she was she, she was confined almost all all her life um and and growing up in in this situation made me i mean personally made me feel very uh, very bad because i couldn't see the stories um in this inside the houses i mean it was yeah. difficult to see that there was there were stories to tell inside the houses, and after reading um, uh, Rodreda, I could see that uh, there's a, a lot of life in in the houses. So you can tell the stories that happen inside the houses, and 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 I mean that opened um, <laughs> the, I don't know the the possibilities for me as a writer, yes. and, and and I could think about writing about those women that are inside the houses all the time. They couldn't go out, but they could be uh, main characters in the stories because inside the houses, there are a lot of stories to tell as well. Not yeah. only outside or in the war or in, I mean, it's a, a very small adventure or yes. a very small, <laughs> but, um, but there are important as well because it's it's life i mean life happens inside the houses one of the things that um that i write a lot about but then illness. That, that becomes a source of conflict and that the the mother who has come from from the roof valley to catalonia then has to to see her 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 daughter move out of the house learn another language and move into a very different world yeah yeah, that's that's a point of, of of conflict for a lot of families because the other world is not is not going to work in this society. It's not going to work anymore. I mean, you have to change everything, and and this facing these changes, I think, were very difficult for our mothers. I mean, when when we were uh, trying to just uh, go out and uh, you know have uh, be more. More, um, I mean, we uh, have our uh, freedom and uh, independence and all that. We we could see it very clearly that it, that was the thing that we had to do, but we never thought about our mothers because uh, I think they they wanted us to have another life, but at the same time they were very afraid because uh, they couldn't. Um, teach us to be um, too different from people uh, from our own origin because it, it, I mean a mother uh, has to uh, teach you the, the you know the rules of, of your society yes she can teach you uh, to be a, a rebel in your society because then you have a very bad uh, place in that society so, so I think it's very difficult for them, for mothers to, at the same time, protect their children and, 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 and you know, want a, a better um, life for them. And at the same time, um, uh, teaching them their, their own culture, the, the rules and, and the um, traditions and yes. the language. And, um, and I, I think we could see um, um, some small changes uh, in in mothers more sometimes more than in fathers yes. which are uh, mm, i mean i think mothers uh, 
not in all cases, but in some cases are more flexible or they, you know, they try to adapt to these new um, realities and well, yes. well, I think maybe maybe daughters, um, you know, where I'm, uh, I, I mean, me, I, I spend a lot of, of, of years not being empathic with with my own mother. I mean, yes. I wasn't very, uh, I, I never thought about. Um, so do you think um, that write, writing the novel has brought you closer to your mother? Yeah, because it was kind of a recon reconciliation. I yes. mean, I could feel that, um, well, I I mean, her life was very hard. But, I mean, she has she had to face very difficult times. I mean, the reef in 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 the years she uh, when she was young, it, it was it was awful. It was because you know is this area of the north of Morocco that was um abandoned by the uh, government because it was a very rebel uh rebel uh um, yeah, against the yeah, central yeah. Government. so yes. so there were nothing everybody was uh, emigrating um so i mean um, it was so after um you know being in in, in his place uh right while writing the novel I could understand um, uh, her better, and I could understand um, that, you know, she had to do what she had to do, and I had to do what I had to do.